Angry Little Asian Girl speaks to me. Whether it's her views on friendship, life, or humanity, I can identify. Being female and of Asian descent, Chinese on my mom's side, I love how Layla Lee's Angry Little Asian Girl challenges stereotypes about both Asians and women. She created the character of the elementary school girl Kim back in 1994 in both comics and a web series as she tapped into her bottled up angst about trying to fit in. The teacher was quite shocked. Why? You speak English so well. Where did you learn to speak so well? She asked. The little Asian girl was quite offended and mad. I was born here, you sp Don't you know anything about immigration? Read some real history books, you stupid ignoramus. As you can see, she's obviously angry. But angry in a way where she is put upon and expected to serve everyone and obey everyone but herself. So those are the things that really, I think, made me angry, but I couldn't articulate it. So it's been this long process of drawing comics to sort of unearth what it is and what the reasons were that made me angry and made her angry because she's sort of like the voice I wish I had. She, I guess, has the an ability to discern what is actually really happening and distill it into sharp, short words and to speak her mind, which are things that I actually do not possess. <laughs> Although I've gotten better at it because of this character. Each comic is full of biting humor and clever insights that are both intensely personal and entirely universal. For this latest collection of comics, she focuses on her mother and being the daughter of an Asian mom. Oh, I'll read the Motherly's nursery rhyme. What happened to Mother Goose? No goose, no. Jack and Jill, they go uphill. Jack, he fall down on ground. And Jill too, she fall down. He get up. Jack go home. He no care Jill. He libre there on hill. So no trust boy. <laughs> what I'm working out is sort of the, I guess, generational conflict and also just kind of like the needs that are different from, you know, an immigrant first generation to the children, the second generation. Immigrant parents are so focused on survival, food, clothing, shelter, education. They want their kids to do better than them. And then oftentimes when the immigrant kids get educated, they have new ideas, which I think really frighten the immigrant parents' obedience hierarchy. Leela Lee's Angry Little Asian Girl has been around for more than two decades, winning over fans like me who love humor that makes you both laugh and think. Beth Accomando, KPBS News.